I'm doing uh, outreach for the uh, AIDS Committee of Ottawa. What's the importance of having a combination of uh, the safer sex message and pride? Why have both of them at the same time? Um, you're getting more and more guys out. Uh, it's, a, it's a time to celebrate and we want people to celebrate uh, safely and to, to have a good time during the, the week. So if we can offer them a bit of information, uh, a bit of armour, uh, they'll enjoy themselves. When you hear that the catchphrase this year for Pride is, Pride is forever, uh, what does that mean for you and how, does, uh, how do you work your message in there at the same time? Um, despite you know being out handing out all this uh, these these supplies and doing outreach, uh, yes, pride is forever. It involves uh, not just uh, it involves everybody in the, the community, gays, uh, heterosexuals, uh, everybody. So yes, pride is forever. It's not uh, a temporary thing. It's not something that's going to stop, and we want it to continue. Uh, last question is: What do you look? What do you look forward to uh, during the Pride Festival? Is there something that you enjoy the most? And uh, I. I hope it doesn't mean with latex. This is latex. I usually just do this. It calms people down and it makes other people nervous. So uh, we just want to get out there, get some information, and uh, if people have questions and we can answer them, then we're doing our job. Hi, I'm Ricky Barnes uh, with Pink Triangle Services. And this here is uh, Corey. Corey is uh, our Asian outreach worker here. Today we're at the Somerset West uh, GLBTQ uh, Health Fair, and we're in we're here to provide information about safer sex and gay men's wellness, so that's why we're participating in this event today. And uh, that's important with respect to, this is Pride Week in Ottawa, so we're looking forward to a successful Pride, a happy Pride, and making sure that we get our message out about safer sex, gay men's wellness, to as many people as we can. Yes. How does it feel, uh, Pride coming up? Uh, what are you ready to do on the streets? Yeah, it's very exciting and I think that's the first time we have an Asian uh, specific HIV and AIDS prevention program, so I'm very eager to introduce my program to the public. Great, well back to work guys. Thank you, bye-bye. Now I'm here doing some awareness around older adults and alcohol, drug and gambling use. So how prevalent or how uh, important is it that uh, you're here today looking at the issues of gambling and, and compulsion and, and alcohol and such? What, why is that important today? Uh, well, it's important, sort of, I guess, to get the message out there that uh, alcohol use, drug use, and gambling use is a serious problem, and especially within the older adult population. Lots of people, I guess, just assume that alcohol and drug and gambling use is sort of something younger generations experience, but older adults also experience that, and sometimes with more devastating effects than a younger generation might have. And so just that awareness that our services are available and that there's the potential to become a, a problem is important. They say pride is forever. How would you, what do you think of that? And are you part of the pride forever thing? Or you know, what do you think about the catchphrase that they use this year? <laughs> I, I haven't heard that catchphrase and so I don't really understand or, or know about it. So I can't comment, I guess. <laughs>